Okay, I like this. I walked past it a couple of times today and I was like, what is it? It looks so different, but it's eye-catchy and it's beautiful. Thank you, I appreciate that. It's Eddie, a, thank you so much for coming. Now, what is it? It's a 1996 Lincoln Mark 8. Okay. Um, it's been chopped six inches. The B pillars have been removed. Um, the doors have been cut to where the top part of the door is now part of the, part of the top so that the glass is all one piece. Wow, so from the top you've cut six inches down. Six inches down. Yep. This windshield post was laid back three degrees to lay down a little bit more. It makes even the inside look so different. The inside is actually the factory Mark 8, but it's all covered in Alcantara suede. Okay. So there's like 31 pieces on this side of the steering wheel alone to just to make the dash. Uh, covered just to cover the dash wow. and it's all French themed. Wow. I mean it, it's absolutely beautiful. Now I have to ask you as somebody who's learning constantly about the work that goes behind these custom cars, chopping it down six inches, what happens if um, I mean obviously someone sits in it, you know, you chop it down with the high Well you have to lower the seats too. So you lower the seats. Mm -hmm. So okay. we took the Lincoln Mark 8 seats and reshape the foam for them so we've lowered you in the seat okay. so that you're as low as the, as the car. it's still a little tight but it's a custom car so it's going to be tight right i want to actually sit down on it as well later on okay we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about welcome that welcome to the show cars everybody <laughs> <laughs> well i'm just thinking getting in and out of it it reminds me um i've, I've sat on a lot of different cars and um this is very low. Is it on air rides? It's on air ride. And is this the lowest it is on this the air This is the lowest running? it'll go, and at, at this height, it's 41 inches to the top of the car. Wow. Okay. I mean, it's brilliant. 96 Lincoln. What gave you the idea to do this? Um, it started out as a Steve Stanford concept drawing. Okay. And uh, he had drawn it to promote late model car customization for the KKOA, which is the Custom Chems of America. And we're trying to get late model cars to be built to bring in the younger generation because not all of the younger generation that we'd like to get into the hobby can afford a 50 Mercury or a 59 Impala. Exactly. And they don't really identify with the older cars, but they yeah. can identify with the late models. Yeah. So by customizing a late model, they can show that we can show them that some These late models can still be cool. Yes. And, and they can look absolutely cool. Yeah, and they can look like this. Wow, I absolutely love what you've just told me there because I've mentioned this before on the channel as well. It's all about involving the next generation. Yes. We want this to continue. We want these car shows, this passion to continue, and the next generation has to take it. And like you said, they can't relate to a 53 or a 55 or the Tri-5s of any car because it's not there. For yes. them, their sentimental value would be their first car would be a 96. Sure. Their first car may be a 98, and these are the later models. And to see it done like this, I mean, I love it. And you've done so well with the rims. What rims have you got? Those are intros. Look at that. The intros always been real good with us, and, and uh, we use a lot of their wheels in our cars. The gas filler is a motorcycle part. It's a motorcycle gas filler from Yeah, uh, that's Hot why it's Match. so small. And what about the trunk here? I see it's got a groove. So. This this is actually a Lincoln Mark 8 trademark, the, the spare tire hump. Okay. And I didn't want to take that out because that's traditional Lincoln. And even when we when we took the chrome moldings off the head the taillights and headlights, yeah. we left the Lincoln emblem as big as it always was, which is at the height of the what the chrome would have been. Yes. Because it's the only Lincoln emblem on the car. So when people walk around they need to be able to it's see like what it is. It's like a bow on the end of a package. It's yep. just, it's the only thing that shows that it's a Lincoln. I love the lines that you've done here. So what have you taken off from the sides? So from the sides, there was a three inch rub strip that went through here and it was recessed through the body. Okay. And we took out that recess and then built our own chrome onto it. Wow, you've and done it well. The, the, when the uh, side mirrors were actually chopped three quarters of an inch through here to make them shorter because when you chop the car this much, the, the mirrors looked a little too big. Wow. I and mean, then we recessed the mirrors in around, around the outside. I look at it, I feel like spaceship, limo, luxury car, it's sleek. There's so many things going through my mind. And that's what you want when you build a car, to make people stop 
and stare and say, what's going on there? Yes. And there is a lot happening here, but it's hard to pinpoint it unless you stop and actually have a chat like we are doing. Wow, absolutely beautiful. And this is all remote controlled with the yeah, doors? Yeah, remote doors. Remote doors with the key fob. Brilliant. 96 Lincoln, what engine did they have? Four yeah. Boss Mustang motor in them. Oh, did they? Okay. And they were four-wheel independent. They were a great car. The problem, I think, in, was the top. The top was always kind of ugly. The okay. rest of the car was beautifully designed, and the top looked like a Volkswagen top. I, I, they just I can't didn't remember go together. What, it, what it looked like. Um, so they were how too different bulbous. was it? So they just looked like a bubble. <laughs> Look a bubble. Okay, fair enough. And what engine do you have now? It's the 5.4. You've got it's the same all, engine. It's all 96 Lincoln underneath. Okay. Independent suspensions. Uh, we modified the air ride to it because the air ride wasn't reliable. Yep. And it wasn't controllable. And with the air ride we have in it now, we're using the stock Lincoln struts that I've modified to work with aftermarket air ride mm -hmm. with the hand controller yeah. or I can work it on my phone. Nice. And then I built the rear bag mounts and we where Lincoln, we couldn't adjust them. They leaked all the time. The controller went wonky. Yeah. I can control everything. I can control the height on it now. Um, I can control it with my phone or, or a keypad. Um, and it's it's where I want it rather than where the computer decides to yes. put it. Yep, 100%. Now, this is amazing. Do you, Have you had young people stop by and see and recognize it? No. Um, okay. I'm getting 35-year-old uh, dads mm -hmm. who had one. Yep. Uh, or had something similar. Yep. And it was their high school car. So, that makes but it's sense. still a younger generation well, than what the customs have. Exactly. Because the traditional custom generation is getting into where they're in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. And so a 30 year old is the younger generation. Well, at this they point. are 100 percent because they're that's the generation that's then going to be passing it on to their kids. Yes. yes. So, um, you know, so if dad decides to do this, yeah. the kid's going to get involved somewhere along the line we're getting a younger generation in so that's absolutely love that i love that you've mentioned that and i love that your passion and there's always a reason why we build a car why we go through the hard work and why we dedicate so many hours and time to it and the fact that you've done it to involve the young generation and to keep the hobby going is just awesome that's what we're trying to do because all of us older guys are not going to live forever, so we've got to we've yep. got to bring some of the younger guys in, or the whole sport is going to die off. Hundred percent. And and at the moment, there's a lot of um, kids. You know, I mean, I say I say kids. You know, I feel like I'm so old, but a lot of the younger guys they're turning, um, they're making their own race cars, or they're using those Hondas and the Mitsubishi's, and they're changing it, which is all fair and fine. But the customization of the car the modification to customize and personalize it to this extent and really put that like, hundreds and hundreds of hours of working, that is still a gap. There's still a gap there. Yes. So we've got to bring those guys in from the racing fields where they're just playing around with the engine to the body of the car to actually change it that's and right. personalize it. Because what I believe is, you know, that's, that's where a lot of growth happens. When well, and you weren't afraid to customize the motor and the chassis or the, whatever you're doing to race, so don't be afraid to customize the body too. It's your car, you do go. what you want to do with it. There you go, there you go. That is awesome, Eddie. I absolutely love it. So what's happening? Am I going to get a chance to sit and see what it's like on these Oh, guys? sure, I'll let you sit in it. I'm pretty clean. I want to take my shoes off if you like. <laughs> I do want to see what it's like because it is so low and now we've got the music happening as well. So, look at the width of this door. Wow, let me just... Wow, I love the interior and I love that it's cloth as well. It kind of reminds me of the cars that I was going to school in. It's young really? 30, yes. Oh, so, okay. it, it, it brings a bit of familiar, familiarity for me as well. Especially just the dash, honestly. That's what I'm talking Lower about. Did, did everybody just see that? This is what <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said I had to get in here because it is so low, but you know what? It's it's comfortable. You just gotta get used to not hitting your head. But it feels really nice in here. It feels very sleek, it's very sporty. Yes, and, and that's what this was Lincoln's answer to the sports car. It was a gentleman's performance car. Yep. So what we try to do is, when, when we're doing a car in our shop, I, I want to do something that's elegant, that it is, it's a custom car, yeah. but you can take your wife 
or your husband to dinner, park in front of the nicest restaurant, the nicest casino, and it fits in oh, it with will that definitely. atmosphere. Look at this, I mean, look. And I wanted to see the view of the windshield as well. And um, no, there's, everything is fine. You can see through it, definitely it's lower, but again, the sports car. It feels like the sports car. It feels like the late model Corvettes that I've seen as well. You get in, they're pretty low, and but once you're inside, it's very comfortable. And we did, our, our only vision problem is through the back window, and it has a backup camera for that, so. But we've also well, kept- Well, I mean, I can see everything. Everything works in this car like it did from Lincoln. Wow. The auto dimming lights, the auto dimming mirrors, and everything got still works. The CD player as well. Is that a CD player ba or? Backup camera. That's the backup camera. Okay. Climate control is below that. Had traction control in it. It was wow. a great performance car. It just didn't sell because of the styling. Wow. Well, you've done it well. Thank you so much. You've done it so well. And no back seat. No back seat. Um, the back seat at this point was going to be pretty much worthless at this height. And so we've located, it has a complete Q-series kicker sound system in it. Nice. And so we've put the two 10-inch woofers behind the seat yep. and our two amps to control all the stereo equipment are where the seat of the back seat would be. Okay. All of our electronics are down there for the power windows and power door locks and all that. It's all in one place, so it's centrally located. And this feels really nice sitting in here. Thank you, Eddie. I appreciate this. Yeah. But I had to see it just because so flat, you know, from a distance. At first, when I was actually filming it, I thought I had a, a different um, lens on my camera because it was just seeing so elongated. It was almost like the fish, the fishbowl view. But no, it's brilliant. I won't hit my head the second time. <laughs> you learn pretty quick once you've hit your head a couple of times. Getting yes, in. exactly. Now you're part of the nine. Yes, top we cars. made the fine nine. The fine nine. I'm not surprised at all. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. I love this and I love the fact that it's there for the kids as well, for the next generation. Doesn't get better than that. You guys always know that I'm here for a story to find out why these cars are getting built and that's the top one for the day. Thank you That's so much. That's the top story for the day. Appreciate it, Eddie. Thank, Thank you. you.